Alrighty, I just want to say welcome to my first long form style content on the YouTube channel. So, for today, picked up some of these guys. Basically, what Hornady is saying is that you can take the Arrow Match bullet and replace your Burger Hybrid Target bullet. I shoot a lot of these, they are expensive. If I can get an option, that's cheaper and shoots just as well, I'm gonna give it a whirl. So, I've got 20 of each loaded up. They're all loaded the same exact way. Uh, same powder, same primer, uh, same seating depth. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna shoot them, we're gonna see how they compare. I did do a smaller sample test on a bunch of six mil bullets, so we'll take a look at that and see how consistent everything is. And then we'll see what they do on paper. Alrighty, so here's my little spreadsheet that I've got going on for a lot of the most common 6mm bullets shot. On the far left here, we've got the Burger 105 Hybrid Target. Next to that, we got the Hornady 105 Arrow Match, the 108 ELDMs, the Sierra 107 SMKs, and then Vapor Trail 103 VTACs. On the left side here, we got the base to O-Jive measurement, and then next to that, we got the weight and grains. So if you look down at Burger, we are extremely consistent across the board, and as far as lot-to-lot -lot consistency, they're also very consistent. If you look at the 105 arrow matches, the base to ogive is actually more consistent than burger, but the weight is a big ES at 0.4 grains over 20. Now, obviously, the larger sample size you do, the more these numbers shrink down, but this is just a quick comparative if you want. Pause this video, screenshot this. This is some great data for anybody that's curious on some of the more common 6mm bullets. Alrighty, so just got back from the range from testing out these uh, Hornady 105s. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. Um, they shot some really nice groups. All of the data from using the burgers lined up out to 555 uh we'll have to push a little bit further make sure they line up further out as well but from what i'm seeing today it's looking like a burger profile and the hornadies will line up really nice so let's talk about these groups all righty so let's get into these groups so unfortunately for some reason my normal load of n150 was severely over pressure this morning um, normally the same load of 30.5 will normally run about 2890 to 2900 uh, it was running over 3000 feet per second this morning so i only shot two five shot groups one with the burger the other with the hornady 105s um, i didn't want to beat my gun up or beat my brass up so we just stopped at those um, neither one of these loads shot great being so overpressured. Uh, the Burger shot a 0.562 and the Hornady shot a 0.657. Neither of them I'm super happy with, but this gun does not shoot well overpressured and never has and it never will. So, we go ahead and drop down here. And... This is kind of my ladder test. It was just a quick three shot ladder. Um, 29 and a half yielded a 0.299 group at 6.3 SD. 29.7 was a 0.447. 29.9 was a 250. 30.1 was a 274. 30.3 was a 153. 30.5 this is kind of where things started to heat up. Um, Mirage was really playing an effect on this one, but I'm not going to make any excuses. We'll call it as it is. Uh, that was a 0.799 group. I want to throw that one out, but we're going to, we're going to keep it anyway. 30.7 ended up in 0.433 and 30.9 ended up in 0.404. So all in all, I mean, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the burgers, 
these Hornady 105 arrow matches, I mean, they work. They shoot a really great group. They were perfectly in line with all my burger data. Um, it's definitely not a bullet that I'm going to take to a national two day just because of some of the inconsistencies that I saw with measuring them. But for regional one days and just training, if you want the same burger profile without the burger price, these things are freaking awesome. Um, at the price point they come in at, you really can't beat them.